people your boy out here in uh just a little bit north of houston headed to fort hood to potentially go pick up a beamer get the gas station getting loaded up my boy oscar in the store right now so we're gonna go check out this beamer and you know see what's what you know what i'm saying i got the, the f-150 with me today got the trailer so hopefully we're picking up a e30 325i beamer just got a whole bunch of uh upgrades to it turbo and all this other stuff i'm not 100 percent on it but uh it'd be nice to get it it'd be nice to get it so three hour trip we've already drove about 30 minutes it's actually christmas day i don't know when i whenever i edit this to post it but it's christmas day i left my friends just to go get this car because i really want it and i don't want nobody else to grab it got my dog with me and og og bmw tech he won influence me to get this thing really low key low key one in a lifetime opportunity Oh, see, he boosting now. He boosting. He boosting real hard now. One in a lifetime. I don't know about that. About two hours and twenty minutes out. So you know, catch up with y'all in a few. Doing numbers. Got the good camera out, man. You know, you got to record shit like this. It's okay, man. Mario, man. Mario, bro. Taz, bro. Here it is. Drove three hours to see this thing, man. This is her. I thought he was a he. This is her right here. Yeah. You can feel it. All day. Touch a turbo. It's cold too. I ain't even trying to crank it. Touch a turbo. It's cold. Cold, cold. It's cold. All right, let's upset some neighbors. You didn't think I was coming, did you? No, absolutely not. is off it's on six it's on 16 pounds it hits it on first gear but second and up it just go down exactly down. second and up it hits like around 10 and then it just and then you're not going to want to stomp on it so you just let go and then if you slowly move into it then it'll go up to it but it's just a tune bro and i don't really care about it i really don't all right so yeah just one just one we're gonna take a quick ride this car needs a tune so it's running rich but i can at least Ready? Yep. Oh, my bad. The fuel's not on, so there's a fuel right here. My bad. It didn't, the fuel wasn't on. <laughs> E30 is bought. <sighs> they not cold, I don't know how, but. Oh, I'm used to this. 
Same I here. I sleep outside. Uh, <laughs> I haven't really used it. I bought it and it literally just been sitting. Some of the stuff fell off, but I mean, everything's there. You got everything to do, some simple stuff. You got all the sockets, got the, you got everything Appreciate you need. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate like you. Like I said, you man, you got, you got good people behind you, bro. You have a good, you have a good brother right here, bro. Like, no real shit, you really have a good brother, bro. So I'm just saying, man, here you go, man. And if you got any questions, bro, feel free to hit, it, hit me up, bro. Tra okay. I'm transparent as shit. Tra both of us transparent. Yeah. No one's here to bullshit you, bro. We're not here for the money. We're, we're actually genuinely here for the cars, bro. Like, point blank period. And here you go, brother. Whew. Enjoy, that should, yes, that should be too far. Yeah. Uh, it's 7-11 in the morning, y'all. Uh. We got it here. As you can see. It's there. This is the daytime. It looks better in the day, which is crazy. So, that's it. Hopefully, you know, doing the tune, we'll get it all the way right. Um, that's my boy's that's my boy's diagnostic, you know. I can I can attest that it was running rich, um, a lot of smoke, but it runs, you know. I can take out the trailer right now. It's so cold. <laughs> I wanted to go to bed, but then we started it, drove it, he drove it, and then we started to switch things, and that's when. You want to tell him what's going on, Taz? I don't know why this man keeps recording me. He's just so bad. See, the thing, what I've learned from Taz is, the good, the bad, you know, when you're upset, this is one of those days where it's just, it's not a good day, but it's something we can look back on and say, look, we learned a lesson here. We just gotta keep pushing forward. Gotta keep trying something new. Now, the good thing is it's not completely trash, and I still think if we need to sell it, we can still sell it. It's got that whole spare block. I think we're gonna be okay. We got we got Jet, the guy, the original owner of this car. I mean, not, not from like when it was actually in the dealership, but uh, in this current state. <laughs> yeah, first owner, it, it, it came out before he was born, but yeah, it, yeah. So it's a one owner car. Yeah. Get a, oh, it's focusing on your face. Oh shit, yeah, that is baked. Jeremy's baked. Jeremy's baked right now. I am not baked right now. One of those things, Taz, I mean, you, th you know how many trials and tribulations I went through with that Genesis? How much money I spent? Oh wait, I need to it. If I would've went, actually we wouldn't have gone. Cause I told you from the get go to avoid the car. But you were set on this BMW. Anytime you buy a car, like a project car, you always got to pull the plugs. Now, if you really want Compression to test. It, Compression you, test and pull the you plugs. Have a tester, right? I do. I, it's at the the farm. Now, if you do but, one. but you see what I'm saying though? Like I don't know that. Shit, so if I well, go I know, like, but you you thought you told me this dude was a BMW expert, and he was. Hey, but at least you thought of bringing someone with you. Yeah, you know? sure. I would. I, I wouldn't have let Taz go yeah, by myself. I never. I never would go by myself. No, I'm talking about like someone who. Well, I mean, I, I know what they're doing. Kyle said that the dude was like, bro, he, he worked at fucking BMW 12 years. Like, honestly, bro, we could have pulled those plugs, and if they were clean, we wouldn't have noticed anyways. That's mm -hmm. facts. Like, Big facts. we wouldn't have noticed. You can't tell without, it. to know how the inner workings of the motor is, to actually do, like, when he sold his Corvette, fucking Adam made him do a 100-point inspection on that shit. Yeah, trash. <laughs> I still like the car. That's good. I hate the car. I told you from the get-go, as soon as you showed it to me, I hate this thing. I still like it. When I it. saw it, I was like, I hate it. I hate the rust. I hated the fact that it's got yellow tint. 
I hate this bumper. I hate the look. I don't like I any like of the it. Look. But that's but see that's what I'm saying. Had you have taken me, I would have said every negative thing in the book to not buy it. That yellow tint is ass. I hate the yellow tint. I hate both of y'all for having this yellow tint and like so cool. And that fucking anyway. baby blue steering wheel. The fucking okay. Anyway, you can suck on there. <laughs> exactly. You can. There's really no way of really 100% knowing what was wrong with the motor. Okay, that's fine. Look. Okay. I just. I mean. Jet, you know the fucking car. Yeah. Well enough. I don't know if we know anybody that like is really specialized in these things.